Hi there, it's Marjorie Salson here and welcome from snowy Michigan. And right before New Year's, I'd like to share with you some thoughts about New Year's resolutions. Because every year we seem to make some and very often they include things like lose weight, get in shape, exercise more, sleep more, do more better in our business, all kinds of things. And at the end of a few days, uh, they seem to have <clears throat> slipped through the cracks. And then we get to the end of the year. And if we've written down what we resolved on last year, somehow we discover that we didn't accomplish those resolutions. And that's discouraging. So I'd like to invite you to, first of all, think of a different way about what you've done this past year. And rather than look back at everything you didn't do and that you're not happy about, blah, 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 which is very discouraging, I'd like you to acknowledge everything you did accomplish this year. And it may have been just small things, or it may have been big things, but write down a list. It's really powerful that to write down a list of what you're grateful that you were able to accomplish this year, whether it's building relationships with certain people, doing better in your business, gaining certain skills, studying with a certain mentor, uh, anything like that, that you feel that you have, uh, and give yourself a lot of credit, even for those small things. Because when you do that, you build up all these endorphins in your system, and you're in a much better place to think about what you really want to do to change next year and to upgrade next year. So when you create that list and you look at all the things you've accomplished, then you can ask yourself, what area or areas would I really like to improve further or uh, make a priority? And instead of writing a whole list of uh, who knows how many items, it's very discouraging when you look at it, uh, focus in on maybe three or four things. Maybe something to do with your personal health, uh, I'm working on uh, exercising more <laughs> and eating uh, mindfully so that I build a healthier body. I guess that's several different things all mushed together in one resolution. So I guess I'm cheating there. And uh, in my business, I, my resolution is to reach out to more people, to be more effective marketing so that I can help more people. And whether that's making more phone calls or getting back to sending out an article and a video once a week, which I've kind of let slip through the cracks lately, I must confess. That's, uh, that's an area. And then the third area for me, of course, is personal relationships and time with family. And I think it's really important not to have a list of 10, 15 things that are really, really big on the list. If you do have a big list, though, you can probably take a uh, page out of Benjamin Franklin's book. If you Google uh, Benjamin Franklin's 13 virtues, he listed 13 virtues that he wanted to improve on. And every week he would create a card listing the days of the week. And down the uh, side of the card, he would list the 13 virtues. And each day he would pick one, one only of those virtues to really focus on that day. And then at the end of the day, he would check off that he focused on it. And if something else came along that he was able to do as well, that was a bonus and he checked that off. So that if you end up with a whole bunch of things that you want to do, rather than have them in a big lump, uh, you might want to divide them up into days of the week, the way Benjamin Franklin did. So that Monday you focus on one thing and Tuesday another and Wednesday another. And so that your priorities are taken care of in an orderly way that you try, don't try and heap all kinds of change on yourself at once. Because I want you to keep in mind one important thing about change and how resistant we humans are to change. We have to get pretty darn unhappy and uncomfortable with something before we're really willing to make change. And so I want you to think about something I learned when I was being trained as a certified adult trainer by the head trainer of, of uh, the Girl Scouts of America. One of the things that came up was that the only one who truly welcomes change is a wet baby. 
And if you've ever changed a lot of diapers, you know, sometimes even a wet baby gives you a hard time changing that, that baby. So understand that changing things is not easy for us human beings. Even if we don't like the current situation, uh, we're used to it. And the things that we're used to it on some level are comfortable. And so changing from that level of being comfortable, so more or less the way we are into doing something differently, give yourself some slack there, get some help and mentorship where you need it. And don't expect that just writing down a list of New Year's resolutions is going to change your life overnight. Think about it. Acknowledge yourself for everything you've accomplished this past year, even if it wasn't everything that you had on last year's list and very carefully craft and think about what you really want to accomplish this coming year and figure out a system where you're not trying to change all kinds of things all at once because you will have a tremendous resistance to it. The fact is, and I have experienced it myself, and I've heard many people report the same thing, is that they make a list of New Year's resolution, resolutions at the end of a month, maybe even just a week or a few days, that list is, is put in a drawer or a mental or a physical drawer and simply forgotten because it's too much to change all kinds of things at once. Tiptoe, tiptoe, tiptoe into creating a much better and exciting and, a, and accomplishing year for yourself. And I wish you health, happiness, prosperity, a wonderful year this year and many years to come. This is Marjorie Salson, a vibrant vocal power, and uh, you're more than welcome, and I welcome you to visit my website, vibrantvocalpower.com, where I promise now, it's one of my resolutions, to share more information in my blog and on videos every week. I've got to pick out the day of the week I'm going to do it so that, uh, that it's part of my system for creating a better year. And I wish you a better and more accomplished year as well. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye.